Hello there folks, here's a quick video showing you how to use the animated image primitive in Crimson 3.0. That would be, of course, the one that's over here in primitives, this here, IMG primitive. First of all, <clears throat> the idea is we have a tag. Let's go over to data tags on the left. Simply create a new numeric tag. And I'm going to call this one uh, int underscore tag because it's going to be a numeric or integer uh, more than just two states. It could be one, two, or three. Matter of fact, we're going to say this particular tag has uh, four states. It's going to start at number zero, and it's going to end at number three. Okay? So if we go over here to display pages, I'm going to go ahead and grab this tag, go to data tags on the right. I'm going to drag this dude out here like this. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And I want to make this so that uh, we can data entry it, of course. And if you remember my teachings, Anytime I have a box on the screen that's a date entry, I always like to put a border on it so the operator knows where to click to bring up its uh, keyboard there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, perfect. So the idea is with the animated image, this guy right here, when this tag goes between 0, 1, 2, and 3, we want a different picture to show up or a different color of a pipe, for instance. So I'm going to grab this IMG out here and drag it out here like this. And I might make it a little bigger. Notice it's just a blank box. If I click somewhere else, it looks like it disappeared. No, it's still right there. If I double click on this guy <clears throat> and go to the images tab here, go to the images tab, I want to have this thing have four different images. Notice there's only one black, one black box right here. So I'm going to change the image count from one to four, for instance. Notice these boxes. And allow me to point out, look what happened over here on the right. Crimson went from primitives where we were at and jumped into symbol factory. The reason it does that, it gives you the first chance to change these pictures. So I'm going to go over here to the category pipes, <clears throat> since I'm trying to help a guy with a pipe right now. So I go down here to pipes, um, right here, pipes. And there's all these pre-built ones. Uh, I'll just click on one of these. And you get all these pre-built def default colors. So anything you want to change the picture, you simply grab the appropriate symbol and drag it in there. So there, I'm going to put that image zero. And then I'm going to follow the old red, white, and blue for United States of America. And put number white, uh, red there. I'll put number white over here. And I'll put number blue here. Notice zero, one, two, three. Okay. Now what I need now, team, is I need some kind of tag in here in the image select that will dictate which one of these shows up. So... <clears throat> Just going to go to the uh, right side, go to data tags on the right side. I'm just going to grab the int tag and drag and drop it right here into this field here. Now I'll test it and show you guys what happens. I'm going to click OK. There's my pipe, a piece of pipe. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller so it doesn't go back. There we go, like so. And I'll go ahead and download this to the emulator. Let's see if it runs here. So here I'm in the emulator mode. Notice the color is gray. If I change this to number one, boom, it turns to red. Number two is the white and number three is the blue red white and blue right there and of course hit escape to close that uh what somebody else is trying to do here let me show you something people get confused on uh we were trying or another person was trying to grab just one of these and drag out a, a symbol the problem here there's this field when you double click on the colors here let me just show you what happens here I'm going to change this here. Notice I got a picture right here, but I'm going to do this, team. Go over here. I'm going to say, you know what? Let me try this color. I'm going to drag it here. This is kind of the gray tone, and this is when this tag goes from zero to some other number. So I just want to show you what happens in this case and why I don't really like this method. But now if I change this to a one, notice this goes to red. This went to that other color, but if I change this to any other number, this one continues. This one just stays in that mode. So you only really get the gray tone background <clears throat> or whatever you draw in for color. So I would prefer, folks, to use the animated image for my uh, picture change of colors and uh, go that route. So anyway, that's just a quick video on how to use the animated image uh, to uh, have different colors of pipes show up. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.